let's do something a little different. I'm going to name or give you a pair of angles. And we're going to next identify the transversal and then classify these angles. All right. We have angle two, which is here, and angle six. The transversal is in. N is our transversal. Now, let's classify these angles by name. Well, remember, anytime you have two angles, here's the transversal, where they are on opposite sides of the transversal, they're called alternate interior angles. So angles 2 and 6 are alternate interior angles. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, let's look at angle 4 and 6. Well, let's see where's 4. 4 is up here and 6 is down here. Well, noticed if M is now the transversal, M is the transversal, and notice where 4 is and 6 is, because M is the transversal, here are two lines that are, that's being cut by the transversal. 4 is outside, 6 is outside, they're on opposite sides of the transversal. We got it by name. Alternate exterior alternate exterior angles. One more. Let's look at angles two and three. Angle 2 is here, and angle 3 is right here. Well, where's the transversal? The transversal is L. See the transversal coming in and cutting these two lines? So the transversal is L, and Notice, if this is the transversal, 2 and 3 are on the same side of the transversal, okay? And they're also interior, inside of both of these two lines. So what's their, what are they called? Same side interior. Just remember, sometimes the names of the angles can help you to identify where they are.